this past Monday saw a rare occurrence in WWE. Okay, well, two. Braun Strowman crushed Elias over the combined way of Mecca Death Punch and the baby grand piano. And Josh Hill faced somebody for the first time ever. The lucky opponent, so to speak, was Koda, who confronted the 16-time world champion in an attempt to reverse his resume of fortunes. But he fell short in this effort. But the 15-year veteran scene of facing someone for the first time, kind of speaking, who else he hasn't locked up with one-on-one? Here are the five superstars John Cena has never faced one-on-one. Number five, Chad Gable. In all honesty, this is the one that has us the most under the radar excited at the prospect. Cena and Jason joining Chad Gable's former tag team partner put on a stealth mini classic last year when Jason joining jumps ship to Raw. And before Gable Wick linked up with Shelton Benjamin, he carved out some some solid self suplex seated real estate for himself as one of Team Blue's most promising singles competitors. Last week, Jack Gable was seen focused on reclaiming the SmackDown tag team titles with Shelton, which should Cena decides he wants to tussle with the other half of the former American Alpha. It's hard to imagine what Gable wouldn't be really ready and willing to do so. Number four, Shane McMahon. Believe it or not, this one is true as well, which is a shame because Shane McMahon has never shied away from facing marching the life superstars with the biggest spot possible spotlight on him. See Kurt Angle, AJ Styles, and the other ones. The occasional death defining leap aside, the prodigal son has transitioned primarily into the managerial phase of his career. And since Cena has no interest in hanging up his trainers anytime soon, this, this match just seems like it's destined to remain a dream. Of course, if Cena can't find a WrestleMania opponent, there's this decent for Shane on Matt Barty and himself as tribute. Number three, Kofi Kingston. Now, here's a surprising one. Kofi Kingston and Cena's careers are only separated by a few years, and they have squared off in a handful of multi-man matches. But the dreadlock Dynamo has thus far missed out on the sickest match against the 16-time world champion. Funnily enough, it looked like this bout was coming down to the pike a few years ago, again during the United States Open Challenge era. Big E and Xavier was at both teams to crack Cena and come up short, and it seemed like Kofi was the logical next man up. Alas, it never came to pass. Number two, Bobby Roode. This is probably the least shocking of the bunch, as Bobby Roode has only been in WWE for about a year. And Cena hasn't been a consistent enough presence on SmackDown Live to have mounted a challenge. That said, there is a clear motivation for the C Nation leader should he choose it. His own state as United States Champion in 2015 was marked by the love and open challenge policy. If he truly is approaching the trial of his career, there are a few better ways to, for him to do so than by reclaiming his old title from the glorious one, bringing back the open challenge to see, seeing who thinks who they can stop. And number one, Woken Bad Hardy. Easily the most entertaining prospect on this list is the current vessel of Matt Hardy, who has been entangled in a great war with Bray Wyatt since a string of losses propelled him to a higher plane of existence. Cena has clashed with Hardy's previous inclinations before he and Shawn Michaels once lost it to Anthony Dustin Matt and Jeff. But a battle with Woken Matt Hardy is a positive, positively wonderful prospect Excuse me, we hope happens sooner rather than later due to my angle last week. And that's it. See you guys next time.